today is Monday, September 25th. And I'm taking you all through a day in the life of a third year demo student today. It's currently 7.20 in the morning. I'm making some breakfast. Um, I don't have to go to the clinic this morning. I don't have a patient this morning. I have one tomorrow. So I wanna show y'all what a Monday is like without a patient um, getting ready for the week. Got an exam this week, meeting on Friday, uh, one patient tomorrow. And yeah, um, so I'm starting my week off at the gym. I'm gonna knock a gym. I'm gonna knock a gym session out this morning. Uh, and yeah, just take y'all along through my day, show y'all the stuff I do, show y'all how I get a lot done throughout one day. So, first step to getting the maximum out of your day is waking up early ish. I don't even find 7.15 to be that early anymore, but um, I don't have to be at school till one o'clock and I'm not gonna sleep until 11. I'm gonna get the most out of my day. So start my day off with the gym in the early morning, breakfast gym. And uh, yeah, let's bring y'all along through there, see what else I got to do. I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna tell you guys like everything that's gonna happen before the vlog starts. We're just gonna flow through the day and see where the day takes us. If you're new to the channel, my name's Eli and I'm a third year dental student at Boston University. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs and like videos with advice for pre -dents. So if that interests you, please make sure you subscribe. Now, let's get the day started. We got a very simple breakfast this morning. Nothing crazy. Yogurt and a bagel with cream cheese. I don't like to use too much, that's why I only have it on one side. But yeah. You gotta start your day off with a nice meal. If you wanna do a lot of things in your day, you gotta plan correctly. And I mean, like, plan everything. So one thing I do is I write my workouts before I come to the gym. So I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I can get in and out. And I got this little journal, but what I usually do is take a picture on it before I start my workout. But I pulled the journal out just to show the camera. So this is the workout for today. Let's see if it'll focus. Barbell rows, um, seated rows, straight arm pull down, lateral raise, cable curl, hammer curl, and then pull ups to end the workout. That's what we're doing. I'm about to get started, and I should be out of here in an hour. back at like 10 30 but uh, before I hop in the shower I decided that I would handle this task that I've been dodging finishing my meal prep um, I made the rice last night but I got too lazy to cook the chicken and I wasn't hungry enough to cook the chicken but I'm about to today I just cut it up last night and let it marinate in this lemon pepper marinade. Gonna put it on the stove, let it cook, and then I'll make a protein shake while I wait for that.
So I have a little time before I go to class and I, um, I've been doing some studying for my exam that's on Thursday in fixed price. Um, I kind of changed my study method again. I decided to start making study guides on my iPad and it's actually been going kind of well. Um, it's not much different than the like running study guides that I've been keeping for my classes. Um, but like before the exam, like our exams are usually like spaced out a week apart. So during that week, I go through all the stuff again and I just like kind of build a study guide of just the really important information. Um, and I write it down on my iPad because, you know, writing helps with your memory. Um, I think that's a scientific fact that's proven through research. I don't know, <laughs> but it helps for me, definitely. So this is a study guide that I made for our oral path exam that we had last week. I just wanted to show you all like so you have an idea. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so. I literally add pictures for everything for oral path. This study guide is 33 pages long, but it shows like a lot of the stuff that we need to know. Um, and yeah, very detailed. But I think this helped a lot studying for the oral path exam. Um, I did it for, what other exams do we have? I did it for oral surgery is it yeah so like I built a study guide for our oral surgery exam that we took but I'm gonna do the same thing for fixed pros um, I started building it like Friday or over the weekend and I'm gonna finish it throughout the week it's kind of just what I'm working on slowly uh, heading to class at 1 it's only 1135 right now so <sighs> chilling gonna catch the bus because it's like on and off raining. Um, bus comes around like, I think 12.17 and then like 12.43. Take one or the other. Uh, but yeah. Closed, soft tissue will grow over it. And so you will end up on the distal of this premolar with a inflamed, chronically inflamed area that is going to be angry with the crown margin because the margin is going to be too close to the bone. Until there's bone loss that occurs, right, in an, uh, what is an unpredictable manner. So you have to get rid of this. All right, so we have an unexpected change in plans. It is 2.50 and I got out of class early. So today I had class from one to three and three to five. But our class that was from one to three ended at 1.50. Now, Y'all know that I may have mentioned in vlogs before, it's not very often that I skip class. However, in order to maximize my time in dental school, I have to do the things that make sense for me. So I know that the class that we have from three to five today is one of the classes that don't care about attendance. And it's also one of those classes that you don't necessarily have to rewatch the lecture to um, understand the material. A lot of the concepts we learn in oral pathology are just repetition. Um, all the information you need is already on the slides pretty much. So today I will not be attending oral path. Instead, I'm gonna be sitting at my desk working on a treatment plan for my patient. I have a pre-treatment meeting on Friday, which means my written analysis has to be done and everything you know, good and ready to go for my patient. Um, this is the second treatment plan I'm developing. So the first one that I already had my pre-treatment meeting for, I present his treatment plan to him tomorrow. This one I'll be working on in order to go over with my faculty on Friday and present it to the patient next week. What else is there? Uh, yeah, so right now I'm gonna try to work on finishing this treatment plan and. Uh, I'll maybe take some time to explain to y'all how that works um, and then all I have left to do for the rest of the day is study for my exam that's on Thursday and then just uh, get everything ready for my appointment that's tomorrow morning and that's it um, also have like a few housekeeping things to do for like YouTube and uh, some other stuff that I have coming up this week
But yeah, I'm just gonna take some time, sit at my desk. I might turn the movie on the TV just to have some background noise and uh, I'm just gonna work on the treatment. So this is what our written analysis template looks like. This is what we use when we're developing a treatment plan for our patients. So you start off with the student name, patient um, chart number, the date, basic information about the patient name, their chief complaint, and some personal talking points like what you've learned when talking to your patient. This usually has only happened over one or two one or two phone calls and your first appointment, your data collection, when you meet the patient and go through their medical history and stuff. Next, it asks about how your patient feels about the big three. Ability to eat, comfort, and comfort may include not only the comfort of their teeth, but uh, their mental, like how they feel about their teeth. And then any aesthetic concerns. Some patients may not like the way that their smile zone looks, may have a ch chipped tooth that they don't like, etc. Next, you put in key information about your patient, such as medical diagnoses, anything like that. Dental history, um, you know, does your patient have dental anxiety? Do they have bad experiences at the dentist? Have they had past treatment at a different dental office that wasn't BU? Then you list their medications and allergies. And here they leave a spot for us to kind of iron out the details of their medications. Next you have any, mod any modifying factors that may uh, interfere with their dental treatment at the school, such as you know other care, uh, time constraints, etc. cetera. Um, and then anything else that needs to go in there. Then you move on to uh, a brief overview of what you found in your clinical exam and your radiographs. After that, you go a little more in depth about uh, anything you found clinically or on your radiographs as far as periodontal status, um, existing restorations, etc. Occlusal analysis summary. Um, this is mainly for uh, patients that um, may need some kind of process prosthetic work and you need to evaluate you know how their occlusion is now how it may change um, etc any etiology goals of treatment um, then you kind of break down their treatment move on to a tooth by tooth list of what they have going on any uh, literature you use consequences and um, then you make a short outline for how you want to um, present the treatment to the patient and that's all um it's long but it's very straightforward and it's all it consists of all things that you need to consider when treatment planning so it is kind of tedious to add on to your work but is you know a critical thinking exercise that we as students need to be able to go through in order to be able to understand presenting treatment to patients in school and in real practice. All right, man. That's where I get all my goodies. I'm in the package room. Fabletic sent me something. Got it. Look at how crisp the shirt looks. But anyway, I got a package from Fabletics. It's a pretty large package too. Let's see what we got in here. gym bag. You know I can always use one of those. I thought it was going to be a little smaller. Okay. 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 Fabletics gym bag for the Fabletics Scrubs Ambassadors. 
I could definitely use one of these because y'all know I take a lot of stuff to jail. I literally was just lugging a tripod, a camera, and all that good stuff today. It's a lot of side, a lot of space in here. Shoulder strap is right here. I feel some kind of side pocket. Uh oh. Okay, so side pocket, bottom loading. There. Side pocket here. Is there one on this side? Nah. This is pretty big though. I'm gonna figure out a way to not only fit a lot of stuff in there, but create some content with that. All right, now I can get back to studying. Well, doing my written analysis. All right, I'm at my desk now. Um, I already studied and worked on my treatment plan. Right now, I'm just uh, reviewing some stuff for my patient tomorrow. Uh, Got to present his treatment plan to him and hopefully start the process of what we plan on doing for him. Yeah, so just taking a little bit of notes, reviewing some stuff, and that's how I'm going to end off my night. Um, thank you everyone who watched this video. Uh, followed me around for a day in my life. I hope that it brought some kind of value to you, whether you're looking to go to dental school or just interested in watching vlogs on YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Peace.